Well, there's a group in Detroit that has rekindled a mission to help the homeless. What's unique is how they're doing it, and their action is making a difference. In this week's Heart of Detroit, Mitch Album catches up with the WAVE Project. It's been just over two years since we sat down with WAVE Project, a nonprofit serving the community with a unique mobile shower solution. Since then, WAVE Project hit the road, had to pull back due to COVID-19, and are now re-engaged with the community. Let's get the scoop from Todd Gordon. You know, just like the entire world, when COVID first hit, we were uh, very much unsure what it would mean for us and our guests, the people we serve and our volunteers. For a lot of time last summer and even beyond, uh, much like the rest of the world, we were just waiting to get guidance as to how we could safely re-engage and, and serve not only our guests, but keep our volunteers safe. Even in our new reality, more volunteers have been brought to us. We've had people rally to support us financially. So it's, it's just really been this rebirth for us and this new identity, and we're just so grateful. What does a hot shower and, and just getting clean mean to some of the clients in, that you serve and why does it mean so much? It means everything. There are people, thousands of people living on the streets right now in our communities, many of which have not showered in months. And I just want that to sink in. For most of us, if we don't shower for a day or so, we definitely feel it. For people that walk up to our shower service, you know, life is stacked against them. Uh, when they come out of that shower stall, uh, one of our coordinators the other day said it perfectly, the smile says it all. Todd, we salute you for uh, hanging in there and staying with your, your dream and your project and doing so much good for people in our city. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mitch. We appreciate you. And joining us now is Todd Gordon, the executive director of the WAVE Project. Hi, Todd. Hey, Jason. Thank you for having me. Our pleasure. Talk about the logistics of your project and what it takes to make it happen. Well, first of all, I want to thank you, Jason, WDIV, Mitch Album, and everybody for having us on today. Uh, we're just a small grassroots organization, and you know this this is a great opportunity for us. But uh, for us, uh, we are driven completely by volunteers. So uh, many of us have a full-time day job, and there are people that jump in on the weekends. So uh, we have a Ford F-350 that pulls our shower trailer that actually starting last month uh, is followed by our essentials van. We get all the supplies, everything we need to have a successful service. We go to a site around Metro Detroit. We're in all three counties. We offer people the opportunity to get clothing and hygiene essentials from our essentials van. And they can then go over to the shower trailer you're seeing on screen right now, go in, take a safe, secure shower, and in between, catch up with volunteers and people that have a conversation with them, that connect, that just try to help them feel loved. You have an uh, event coming up later this year that people can get involved in if they want to help. Tell us about that. Yes. So as many organizations are doing, Wave Project is actually doing our first annual Swing for Showers golf outing. And we're just putting a call out there for all golfers, for non-golfers, for people that want to come and golf. Please get your foursome together, recruit some foursomes, but also for families, for individuals, for businesses that want to sponsor it. It could be a whole sponsorship where you put a a couple words of encouragement together or companies that are looking to do some good in the community. We need sponsors. We need golfers. So please consider being a part of the event. And then on top of that, we need volunteers. Uh, so please visit waveproject.org if you're interested in coming out and volunteering with the shower, shower service. Uh, and, you know, we're just so grateful for all the support we've seen from the community. And uh, I know we heard there in the Mitch album piece that the, coming out of the shower, they have a big smile on their faces. But what does mm. this mean for the clients when you help them? Well, I, I just ask everybody continually, you know, in, in their day to really think about what a shower or being refreshed, you know, is like for them. And, you know, I know there's a lot of different philosophies surrounding people experiencing homelessness, but they're people first. So for us, um, you know, I invite people to come out and see it firsthand. There is nothing like seeing somebody who is down on their luck that is literally experiencing adversity that most of us could never understand. To see them go into a shower stall, have some time to themselves to get refreshed, to get clean and come out. Literally, it is just rejuvenation in its purest form. It is amazing, and we're so grateful to be able to do it. 
All right, good stuff. Todd, thank you so much for the time this morning. Hey, thank you, Jason.